I, I do want to note that the um, uh, uh, chief of the Newtown Police Department, uh, someone who I worked so very closely with on that day and following days, uh, is one of the first responders uh, joining us, as well as uh, a great leader of the uh, Connecticut State Troopers, uh, uh, who I also worked with closely on that day and every day since, uh, is with us uh, representing the first responders. Uh, the first select uh, woman um, from Newtown is actually uh, attending another um, ceremony around the birthday of one of the children who lost their lives uh, on, that, uh, on that day, and uh, um, uh, our office uh, conferred with her yesterday and today, and uh, she wanted to honor that particular commitment. But I do want to thank Pat for uh, all that she's done and the leadership that she has lent uh, in uh, all of our efforts uh, on and since December 14th. To the legislative leadership um, who worked so tirelessly to come to something which is quite different in our nation, a bipartisan approach uh, to this issue, uh, as we have been able to address other issues in our state on a bipartisan uh, basis. Uh, all of um, uh, uh, that team, um, uh, I, I want to single out and thank on this very uh, emotional uh, day. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, President Williams for his leadership in working uh, on this project. Speaker Sharkey, uh, I want to thank you uh, as well. Uh, Minority leaders McKinney and Caffaro, I want to publicly thank uh, them, uh, as I have previously uh, thanked them uh, for their hard work. Uh, and uh, uh, Joe Arsamowitz, thank you for your leadership. Uh, and Marty, uh, I've talked to you about this. I always appreciate your profound leadership on this and so many uh, other issues. Uh, and to our great Lieutenant Governor who has uh, been there for the families, been there at my side, worked with the legislature uh, as well, I want to thank her for her great work. This is a profoundly emotional day, I think, for everyone in this room and everyone watching what is transpiring today in the state of Connecticut. Uh, we have come together in a way that relatively few places in our nation have demonstrated an ability to do. In some senses, I hope that this is an example uh, to the rest of the nation, certainly to our leaders in Washington who seem so deeply divided about an issue such as uh, universal background checks, where the country is not divided itself. When 92% of Americans agree that every gun sale should be subject to a background check, there is no excuse for representatives or senators who don't come to the assistance of those that they are elected to represent. I'm proud of the efforts uh, that are ongoing in Washington. I'm proud of the efforts of my good friend, the Vice President. I'm proud of the efforts of our President, who d seems not willing to let this issue stop. We can never undo the senseless tragedy that took place on December 14th or those tragedies that play themselves out on a daily basis in our cities. But we can take action here in Connecticut, and we can make Connecticut towns and cities safer, and this bill does that. Through our efforts today, we honor those we lost and those we have worked to help to mend in the grieving process. Those 20 innocent children who lost their lives a principal, teacher, and school psychologist and therapist that sacrificed their lives protecting the students they loved. Connecticut State Police, and Newtown local law, law enforcement, firemen and others that responded when called upon, teachers that have continued serving their students in the months since, and a select woman and other local officials that have served around the clock to bring comfort to those that they care for. Today does, mark the end, does not mark the end of our efforts. The discussion about how to protect Connecticut families will never end. And let me be very clear that it is a discussion that must include all communities, all communities regardless of their shape and size and demographic background. In Connecticut, those communities deserve the best that we can offer them in developing strategies to make all of our citizens safer. Because while this tragedy struck one of our beautiful small communities, it does in fact play itself out 
in all of our communities. Finally, there is already discussion happening about how the many changes to our laws will be implemented. This morning, I conveyed a meeting uh, of executive branch staff, including state police, to begin that process. I can tell you that we are targeting August 1st as the date when a system to accommodate all of these changes will be firmly in place. And with that, I will sign the bill.